hey what's up guys welcome back to umiskin software youtube channel so if you're new to this channel please subscribe and hit the notification bell to get all our latest uploaded video so it has been a while since we have posted in umiskin software channel so please subscribe always increase the number of subscribers so that you can encourage me to post other videos so in this tutorial i'm going to teach about the mpesa api i'm going to do the full course about mpesa API the Daraja version because people have been coming to me and asking me on how it is done. So I'm going to do all the all the things that you need to know about Daraja API and all the steps. So in this first section, I'm going to explain about the introduction to Daraja API, what you need to do before you start developing it. So we're going we're going to move straight to the to the Safaricom Daraja API, the developer Safaricom co.ke which is the Daraja 2.0. So first you need to have an account here. Let me first log out in mine. Uh -huh. Then I log in using uh, this account and I log in. So immediately you have created an account. Then you will be introduced to this page first you need to create an account then you will have this page so what you're going to do you're going to create your app one here i'm going to create my app then i'm going to name this app from um, let me name it as omeskia omeskia pay then i'm going to click clip an mpesa clip an mpesa sandbox prim up sandbox and i create uh, let it create it will load it will take some times mm, okay now we have the app immediately you've created your app you will see it it will appear down here which is in the sandbox environment here you can view your keys then immediately you've created you can come here and check and to check the APIs that we're going to to talk about this is the authentication the dynamic qr code the mpesa express mpesa c2 c2b business to customer transaction transaction status then account balance then the reversal so first what i'm going to do i'm going to create a github repository let me enter a github repository this is where you will get all the source codes i will provide them i'll provide a link in the description so that you can download it from there or clone it from direct from my github and and make sure you'll you you can also follow me on github i have quite some awesome project there so that you can follow let it load it i think my network is slow but we'll just continue doing it let me come here my repository my and my github account mm -hmm. let me open here so that i can create first let me create a, a project as github is opening i'm going to open my my folder here i'm going to open a folder and let me open a folder then go to my pc then then my local disk and then go to my zamp because i'm using php to develop this so we are going to use it on zamp so here i have already created an app which i've uh, placed it on htt docs it's named the Raja API so I'm going to open it on my code editor which is VS code let me open via CMD and code so the let it open so let it to open then I don't know it's taking long to open so you can come here let us create our first file let me name it as index.php 
Mm, let it change. So I'm going to write here. Echo. Echo. And Raja API. open our project in ZAMP because I'm hosting it with PHP. Let us go to our browser here. Yeah, browser. Let us open the local local hosts slash Daraja API. So here it means that uh, our server is reading and working well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come here to my GitHub repositories so that I, we can store it in our GitHub. Let me create a new repository. Uh, it is new repository. I'll make sure you follow me. My Job. So let's name this project as the Raja Raja API. So let me name it as Mpesa the Raja no. the Raja API. Then let me put it as public and create repository. After that, I'm going to link the um, the project with GitHub. I want to and to show everything as I'm developing it. So I'm going to go into my VS code here. So what I'm going to do, let me save this file conga. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to link it with GitHub. So this is how you link a project with GitHub and I will do a tutorial about how to use GitHub and everything I know about GitHub, I will explain it, but that's a tutorial for another day. So let me initialize my GitHub in it. Then git add. So I'm adding all the files, sorry. Git add. I'm adding everything that is in my folder. Then git commit. So adding my first and pesa files. I'm going to git push not git push because I've not linked it with my my local and my zip my local folder and my my local folder in my repository have not linked it together so what I'm going to do I'm going to copy this then paste it here then let's take this with this link it remote add the original I don't know why it's doing that way and let's post it there I don't know what's happening. Let me pause, then I will fix it. Oh, I had posted twice the link, so let me do this again. Take this the last final step, then we are going to take this and push. That it will take a while, then it will push my code, so my code will appear there. So when we start developing, we'll just be pushing the new changes so that you can follow and track everything that I'm doing. Now, when you come here and reload my app, my repository, the index file will appear here. So it means that we have started the development of the Red API. So this is our first step because we have already created the app which will be will be located here in our github then our vs code so this is where we are going to place all our 
our codes or our php codes then we will test it using the zamp we'll test it here in our local host so this is the end of the first video so the next tutorial i'm going to work with this step i'm going to do the authorization so see you in the next video bye